everyone, this is Love and today we are doing on M-Bot robots again. In the last two videos, we have done a line following robot and an obstacle avoidance robot. Today we are going to combine them. So the robot will move on this, then it will like, when it sees the, the two obstacles, it will come out of the way, it will go here and it will come back on the track. So that is our goal what we are doing today. So here is the code of it. Here's the code of it. So I've already made it again, and this time I'll show you again, again. So we go to Mbot program like usual. Go to control and choose a new option which is wait until. So we are using. Then we go to on board press which is in the robots option um, where is here it is so it will happen that when we press this button then only it will start doing the code so then go to control again and choose forever and if then and go to operations and choose this equal to sign and write here zero and line follower port 2 where is it here line follower port 2 and then put run forward at speed 100 here i have not used the data and blocks one where you make a variable and put speed because when you combine them it won't work actually that properly so then go to control if then again and go to equal to in operations and choose your one this time and not zero and just duplicate line follower port 2 so that you don't need to then duplicate run forward at speed speed i mean speed 100 and change it to turn left and then operations go to control again or just duplicate this whole thing and right and right click to duplicate so to make it two and change this to turn right then go to if then else if then again and this time go to operations in which the greater than is in the right side so put the greater than at 15 and go to robots and choose ultrasonic sensor port 3 distance and do turn right Turn right at speed 100 go to control wait 0 0.5 seconds and just duplicate this thing again if you want it and then change this to turn forward and then go to robots and choose here is an option called set motor m1 at speed so put this m1 at speed 50 and duplicate this to choose m2 at speed 140 1 4 0 And for zero, then go wait 0 0.5 seconds again. Seconds again. Then go to wait until. And choose the command in robots which says. Line follow port to left side is black. So this is the code and now we are going to upload to Arduino. So first I, we have to connect this port sensor to the robot again. Here. 
Be sure it's connected properly, otherwise your robot will not work. And then press upload to Arduino. Uh, and first go to connect, serial port. I have to turn this on the robot. So go to serial port, CM4, and press upload to Arduino. So now uh, it's starting to move forward because yesterday's code, because yesterday's code is still in there, and it's using yesterday's code in the last video's code. So let's wait for it to upload. So it is connected. And the upload is finished, so just close this and remove the serial port from this. See, when you put it, it's not moving. You know the reason? Because we put that button in which we had put that it on. First press this button. So, it is on and on. See, it is going. Since there's two things on the way, see? Now it's come back. I think it's too big this thing that's why it's not working. See it's just moving it out of the way and going on its own way. So as you can see it's working but since it's like a circle so it's a bit hard for the robot to move properly. Like you can see it works now and it even sends to my leg and is coming here at last. <laughs> So that's it for our video. That's it for the video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and bye.